Hey everyone, so this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to install JASP on Windows. So I'm just going to jump into my desktop here and we'll get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our favorite browser, whether that be Edge or Chrome or Firefox or whatever, I'm going to use Chrome. And I'm just going to do a search for JASP, J-A-S-P. And if I search for that, the first thing that comes up is this link to JASP, a fresh way to do statistics. So if I click on that, it takes us to the JASP homepage and it's really easy. There's a big button here that says download JASP. So I'm just going to click on that and then it brings us to this options for Windows, Mac OS or Linux. So I'm going to pick Windows and I'm going to pick the Windows installer. You could also do it through the Microsoft Store or pre-installed zip, but the easiest thing to do is pick the Windows installer. Now, what it does is it will bring us to this other page, but it is downloading JASP right now into my downloads folder. So it is going to take a few seconds here and then we'll come right back when it's finished downloading. Okay, now that it's finished downloading, I'll be able to find that in my downloads folder. So I'm going to open that up and it depends on where you set your downloads to go to, but it should be the downloads folder in Windows. And you can see here that there's Jasper Windows MSI. And now I just need to double click on that and it will start installing the program. It will probably ask me for permission um, and then you need to accept the terms of the license agreement. Once I click install, it'll ask you for permission. You might need to put in your administrator password. So now it's starting to install and it'll just take a few moments to finish up and its installation. And we'll just select any defaults that it asks for us when it gets there. All right, now that it's finished installing, we can just click finish. It will launch JASP if we have this box selected. I'm not going to do that because I'm gonna show you how to launch it on its own. I'm just gonna click finish. I'm gonna close this. Now, when we want to launch JASP, we can either just type it into our search box in the bottom of Windows here, or click on the Windows Start and type in JASP. And we can just run that and JASP will start up for us. All right. So hopefully that gets you going on working with JASP and having it installed on your computer and ready to go.